Hi, this clip is designed to cover the, um, the classification of cyclic alcohols as uh, using the primary, uh, secondary and tertiary idea. Um, the first thing to talk about is uh, what I mean by a ring of carbon atoms. So if I have, um, let's say, a ring of six carbon atoms, I'm drawing it in skeletal form here, and I draw an OH group coming off that, That'll be called cyclohexanol. If, however, I draw a benzene ring, which you won't have come across yet, if you're an AS student or a year one A-level student, a benzene ring, you may have seen these on um, online or in textbooks. They're drawn like this, and if they have an OH group coming off them, this is called a phenol. And this is not an alcohol, because it behaves in a slightly different way. So, the cyclohexanol would be covered in year one of A-level. And phenols are covered at the start of year two. In other words, because this is part of an AS or Year 1 lesson, you don't need to know about phenols. So I'm going to rub this out. And we're going to concentrate on cyclohexanol. Now, you can clearly see the OH group attached directly to the ring. So it's important to have a think about whether that's a primary, a secondary, or a tertiary alcohol. So if we remember that primary, secondary and tertiary have specific structures that they follow. So a primary alcohol will have one R group attached to the carbon that the OH group is attached to. A secondary alcohol will have two R groups attached to the carbon the OH group is attached to. And a tertiary alcohol will have three R groups attached to the carbon that the OH is attached to. So when we're looking at a cyclic alcohol, what we need to do is look at the fact that the ring can actually be considered as two separate sections coming off the carbon that the OH group is attached to. So therefore, we consider them to be secondary. So if we were to take um, a ring structure and draw three slightly different versions. So let's say this version had a carbon with an OH coming off it and your two hydrogens like that. That would be primary because you'd have two R groups, or sorry, one R group, which would be the ring. If, however, you were to have a ring this time with the carbon coming off and a methyl, for example, and your hydrogen coming off here, that would also be secondary because you have two R groups. And if finally we had the same ring, except this time we had two lots of CH3 coming off, for example, that would be a tertiary because there are three R groups coming off the carbon that the OH is attached to. So when I talk about the carbon that the OH is attached to, I'm referring to this part of the alcohol. So you always need to look at the carbon atom that the OH is attached to. In the case up at the top here, 
is attached directly to an OH group and it also happens to be part of the ring, hence why cyclic alcohols are considered to be secondary.